Hey guys, this is Strider Prime bringing you a new edition of Go Figures. Today, I'm going to review this figure, the Iron Man 3 Assembler's Interchangeable Armored System from the new Iron Man 3 movie that just came out recently. So, as everyone has been watching the new movie and uh, seeing how awesome it is, I actually recently saw it. Uh, I decided to see if I can get my, my hands on any of the Iron Man figures. Now, I went to my uh, local Walmart, and they had a you know they had a whole section of Iron Man figures. Um, clearly, there's just the three and a half inch figures. There's the five and six inch figures. There's the the good ten inch figures. There's a big twelve inch one. Anything you can think of. There was there was a few figures that I saw that I really liked, which was. Every different Iron Man series from, I guess, from the past, both in the in the movies and in the comic books. But it had an interchangeable part, so you can form the Iron Monger from, from the first movie. Or, I, I don't know if it's from the first movie or from the cartoon, or, I'm sorry, comic book. But needless to say, uh, it was interesting that you have to collect all, I think, six, maybe five or six figures to get the part to make one big figure. But I was keen on this one because this had some features where you can build up to 25 different armored combinations. Not from from this uh, figure, from other figures. Now, I chose the Mark 42 because that is, of course, the um, protagonist mobile uh, arm, uh, sorry, mobile suit, the protagonist armor that uh, Tony uses. If you flip it around, you'll see here that not only you can remove its arms to put on these interesting shoulder uh, armor which I guess supports this missile launcher pack there but if you look closely you'll see the option for war machine and I guess you can remove the armor and turn Tony you know the mark 42 and the war machine into different combinations I don't know I have to think about it there's over a hundred combinations um, I know there were more figures in this, and surprisingly, the box art, the the, the information here doesn't have a list. Um, there were like so many, yet they never bothered to put it on, which was very strange. Why they wouldn't do something like this? This retailed at seven ninety nine, so it's good for you know, for the um, you know occasional person who want to buy one and give it to their uh, nieces or nephews or sons. Uh, mind you, this is. This is not for children under three years, so just pay attention to that. So let's open up this uh, cool little uh, figure and see what we have. Now, here is the figure, already assembled. Yes, there were assembly required, but the detail is interesting, if you can see that. Very good. Especially for this size. It, it's pretty good detail, I have to admit, at this scale. Unfortunately, it suffers with the lack of move, uh, movability and posability. See, I, you can able, you can only pose it up to there, and then of course you can lift Tony's, you know, Iron Man's hand and do this or do that. That's as far as it goes. You can actually bring the arms like this to this position, like that. There is a clicking, like a clicking mechanism that goes like that and you can try to do you cannot do three 360 maybe you can because you can pull it out if you want but there's pretty much that's all it can do the legs on the other hand you know it, it'll go as far as back as this and far forward as that and it'll split a little bit not too and actually it won't that's as far as it goes the head is the only uh, movable um, feature. You can go full 360 and he'll look up or down. Not completely up, you know, especially if it's, he wants to do a, a flight mode. That's as far as it goes. So that's pretty much what the um, Mark 42 Iron Man looks like in this pose, in this configuration. Now the other two arms, to put them on, all you need to do is remove these two. Like that. 
Then you take this arm here, stick that there. Take this arm here and stick that there. Now you got some. Now Tony has some muscle here, as you can see. Uh, but again, it lacks the feature of it bending. It should. I don't know. Maybe, maybe there was no way they can put the technology into making like the arms bend. But I guess I mean from the uh, from the elbow. But that's as far as it goes. So I don't know. It kind of defeats the purpose to have it like that, like and not you know able to bring the arm up and do like a um, its famous hand pose. But the purpose of the of this to have that is of course so you can have this on which I'm a bit worried um, I don't understand because I'm looking at this it has a little peg there now oh, I guess the peg goes back here so it shows that he's flying but this peg is uh, pain in the ass to stick in there so you got a hole there for the peg you got a hole here and you got a hole here so it looks like that then you have a hole there so you can stick this here as it's an over the shoulder launcher and then you have the missile which you stick in there here click and then you fire there you go like that so there's the rocket launcher type missile for uh, Tony's big fat bicep arms nice that's kind of cool and uh, I, I might as well give you a size comparison of how big this thing is uh, everybody's seen my high grades and my um, you know here's a here's a high grade of the Gulf Custom oops stick them put them right there uh, and the camera back there you go so that's how big it is of course, you could have done this, and he's bigger than the 1-400 scale um, um, double O Gundam. Anyway, there you have it. The review of the Assembler's Interchangeable Armored System from the Iron Man series. This is the first one out of many. Not something I'm going to be picking up you know, left and right, but uh, for those of you who are Iron Man fans and Marvel fans, definitely a, a worth buy for you collectibles out there anyway thanks for watching and stay tuned for more go figures coming soon take care